what we're working on this morning is we're looking at muscle activity and brainwave activity while Therese is shooting. And we've selected two, set, two sites that are relevant, and that's okay, that just came unhooked here. I've got here really wired. We've selected two sites that are relevant to her event. So we've selected forearm and tricep, and we're looking for the activity what's happening in the arm, so specifically the forearm and the tricep, as she raises and as she brings down, right? And we're looking for patterns over time. And we're trying to figure out, is there a certain amount of work that the muscles are doing when she's shooting well? And then if she's making a mistake, do those patterns look different? Um, and if you want to look at the screen here, so this is a round of five shots and I've put little session markers in here for the first shot, second shot, third, fourth, fifth. And so we're looking at the amount of activity as soon as a green light goes on and then what's happening until she executes her shot. And we had just reviewed the data and what we saw, um, I can sort of narrow in over time, what we saw was that the third shot was actually the best and the third shot has sort of the most consistent muscle activity from the green light turning on to Teresa executing her shot. So we're sort of creating this first draft hypothesis that there's this, this certain amount of muscle activity that the forearm and the tricep are doing. We've just, we've defined this zone. And so we're going to see if we're replicating that now before we say, Hey, you should spend some time training this. We want to see if that was a fluke finding or if that really mm -hmm. yeah. is something that you experience. And when you were sort of reviewing your shots, you described like a small mistake you made. And then another time that what you're, you used it didn't your language. look it didn't look right, like the sight picture. Everything's supposed to come up and break and look nice mm -hmm. when it breaks. It doesn't always happen that way. The third shot did happen that way, but the other ones didn't. And there's a range where, you know, it might not look perfect, but it'll be a good shot. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's, you know, once you're out of that range, it can be something else. So that's what we were looking at. The first two shots weren't within that range. The last three shots were within the range, and the third shot looked great and broke with very little... Um, very, it was effort. There was effort there, but yeah. it just happened the way it was supposed to happen. Yeah. So this efficiency that she's describing, mm -hmm. we're trying to define efficiency with numbers um, so that we can, you know, replicate that. And then another thing we're looking at is EEG activity, which is brainwave activity. Um, and let me just switch to another screen so you can see this better. This will just take me a second. So there is a bunch of research studies that say that um, shooters have this specific thing that happens in their brain um, when they're shooting well. And it's sort of, a, maybe you'd call it a quiet time. Um, one interpretation is it's a lack of self-instruction or analysis. And at this level, maybe, you know, beginners should be talking to themselves, instructing themselves, saying, okay, do this, don't do that. But once you're an expert, you really shouldn't be doing that anymore. You should just, everything should be pretty automatic and you should just be able to perform. Yeah, exactly. Perform. And, but like Teresa said, you know, there are times where you have to make little, little, you know, corrections in your technique. But so what we're looking at is the alpha band. Um, and so this is the alpha band, yeah, and it's set for eight to 12 hertz. So her neurons are firing eight to 12 times per second in this area sort of underneath her, oh no, it's right here. It's in the left temporal lobe, but anyways. <laughs> so what we, when we're reviewing her shots, like she just said, the third shot was the best. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five. And if we take our little session marker and we look at, so the first time she raises her, the green light goes on. And if we look at alpha and we're waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting, alpha goes up to six and then she fires. Well, hmm, okay, the first shot wasn't her best. Let's look at her second. Green light goes on, there's some alpha. Alpha bursts there, it comes down and then it bursts and then it comes down and then it bursts and then it bursts and then she shoots and Teresa said on that shot you were sort of like <laughs> I made a mistake I was readjusting <laughs> right so and then okay here's the third shot and she said this one was the best so the green light goes and Alpha's pretty quiet and then 
right before she goes to shoot, it bursts and she executes her shot. So it looks like this mm. pattern for Teresa is alpha sort of bursts right at the time when she's about to shoot, not before during this holds period yeah. or when you're setting your sight or it's the the rest in between and you're coming up so it's your glide into the target mm -hmm. so when you're set when you start to pick up your sights i could see my mind being more active because i'm picking up the sights and the triggers moving and then it breaks mm -hmm. and but so what we're so we we see this right now and she's just going to do five more shots and we're going to see if her best shots sort of have this pattern of Alpha's not doing a lot, and then right before she goes to shoot, it, it increases, and that's consistent with other other shooting studies. Wow. If you oh, want to great. take a look. So this is a this is a training screen, and right now we're not really doing any training. You can just see my brain. Yes, yeah, so this <laughs> this is Teresa's brainwave activity. So that's sort of the alpha band, 8 to 12, and then it's broken down to lower alpha, 8 to 10, and higher alpha, 11 to 12. So we're just trying to see if maybe a certain component of that broader band is important, but the whole band is probably important. And then, um, so EMGA is her tricep, and B is her form. Yes, so, so now she's doing some work, and you see those numbers changing. Oh, wow. Um, You said that was fairly decent? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, if you look at this, that's a reflection. This, my sights weren't perfectly aligned. Mm -hmm. Like it was over to the left side a little bit. Um, so I stayed with the recovery a little bit longer on that shot. It was the middle shot this okay. time. So 10.4, 10.1, 9.7. I'll put this in. The last two shots, yeah, they were pretty good. 9.7. And what were the last? 10.7, And the timing was all really good. Mm -hmm. So the range with what I want to break mm -hmm. is anywhere from 2.4 to 2.8 seconds. Mm -hmm. So every one of these shots is within that range. So this was a good series for me. Okay. Other than that nine not being, the sights weren't there. So you might see more activity with that nine because it broke when the sights weren't perfect. Mm -hmm. But so that's I have to break it within that time rather than do you do you want to look at your muscles first or do you want to look at your um your brainwave data first mm -hmm. so and that last shot i would didn't feel as fatigued it felt strong so remember the first one yes. the last shot felt fatigued yes that's interesting so that Okay. Oh, this looks different. <laughs> oh, that, I just used a different screen. Oh, okay. okay. So here's your session, right? And so that was that sort of first, this is the first sort of minute you getting things organized and then that's one, two, three, four, five shots. Wow. So let's- That looks really 
consistent except for yeah. remember the first one like when I first start there's a lot more effort on that first shot yes so I'll zoom in so we can have a better idea so that's five four three okay so this is one right two one yeah okay yeah, that okay. and that matched look mm -hmm. the the tricep and the forearm yes activity or it's good wow. <laughs> better see right <laughs> and last time there was more there was more variability and so this is so you raise your arm and we see everything is pretty well between this 50 microvolts and 100 microvolts right yeah and the forearm's pretty steady and your tricep you know sort of engages and then relaxes a tiny bit but not a ton and then yeah. you put your gun down and then your a is triceps so then your triceps relax your forearm is engaged you raise right yep. this has a slightly different pattern when the green light goes off compared to this okay S do you see that just see how that purple line yeah I see how it blips up I see that so and then so that's here's the third right and so here you have a little bit less forearm activation mm -hmm. but and overall look at look at this so this, we see this pattern of a decreasing amount of forearm activation and sort of that sort of steady of the tricep, just sort of interesting. Yeah. And you said your fourth and your fifth shots were the best? They were pretty good. Okay. So this is the fourth and this is the fifth. So again, you're sort of huh. under this, you're between the 50 and 100 microvolt range. Let me, um, I'll undo auto scale. So it's using less? Yeah, so wow. let's... Let's see, let's see if that's true. So this is the fifth, so three, four, five. So, so I am having more tricep there. Yeah, and that's, that, and that's what we saw on the last, last shot before. Yeah, but the tricep was, was even more elevated. Than this. Yeah. Okay. But I think this looks good, like really good in terms of consistency. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like on the first one, you said there was, well, we'll look at them all across time. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yes. Your first and your second, there's a little bit more variability. Like, see how up and down that purple line, yeah. that forearm line is? But see how it's pretty tight here, especially there and there? Yeah. And it's even maybe slightly lower on the fifth one. But And, and we're seeing this pattern of the tricep working a little bit more and maybe that was just like a function of you warming up the first time like yeah i don't know we don't know but those those were you said those were good right yes. like you're happy with yeah 10. they 7. were the the third shot i mean it, it broke nice it just, the sights weren't in the right mm -hmm. spot i mm -hmm. called it over to the left mm -hmm. all those shots were on call okay they were they were where i put them it's i mean they broke the way they were supposed to break. The sights just weren't aligned on the third shot. Got it. Okay, so so here's so good. The the muscle is sort of what what we thought we wanted to see, and so here we are looking at alpha and mm -hmm. theta again. And here's your one, two, three, four, five shots. So let's take the session marker and we'll go to the first shot. So the green light's on. There's a little burst and it comes down. And you go to shoot, and it goes up to seven, and then that little blip is just the muscle artifact. Okay. Um, okay. Handling the recoil. Yeah, exactly. And I, I think I was a little bit slow to hit that that space bar there. And the third one, I think I was right on. Um, okay, so we see. So again, so there's some increase in alpha right after the green light goes off. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I, that's when I have to activate. Yeah, and that's, your brain also sort of re rewards yourself. Like when you look at pilots, when pilots perform really challenging tasks, so the task is over and then the brain does a little reward. And I'm wondering if it's just like, okay, that the light has become a signal to you. Like, okay, it's like time, <laughs> time to, to get go. ready. <laughs> yeah, and, and we've observed this on a number of them. So I think that's just your brain like sort of saying, okay, now's the time. But so you're, you know, under four, under two, and then it bursts up. To almost to eight and then it's down okay so let's look at the second shot so our green light turn here's a green lights on we see a little bit of an alpha burst your whoop there's a burst down and it's coming up that was that was a fire so that's interesting on the second shot you had like a little bit your brain was like okay we're ready 
And then there was this time. Boom. <laughs> yeah, up to seven. Okay, good. And then whatever you're waiting, your green light comes on, a little bit of an alpha like reward. It comes down. You're getting ready. Alpha burst. Alpha burst a little bit again. And you go to shoot. It's at six. Yep. That's the one where the sights weren't right. Yeah, and I. So I wonder, so maybe maybe six, like this six microvolts, maybe it's not high enough. So maybe you shoot better when it's closer to eight, which is what it's been another. But let's see, so the fourth and the fifth are really good, right? Yeah. So here we go. Green light. Okay. You're waiting. You're waiting. Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Wow. Okay, good. So maybe not, maybe it's nine microvolts, right? Let's see if that happened in the fifth one again. So your green light goes off and a little burst, be quiet. Eight, burst quiet. Hmm, oh. that was it. So, oh. Or maybe it's between seven and nine, right? So like the more we do this, the more refined we can be about what yeah, what is good for you. Um, that this last shot actually mm -hmm. it broke really nice it did like remember i said the third shot yeah that was i mean everything was aligned and it broke the way it was supposed to break yeah and i just and i held it because it looked nice Mhm. Mm so maybe that so maybe it's right at right at eight microvolts of alpha just as you um, execute break. the shot yes just as you break like maybe that for you is like this signature of your brain's doing everything right. We saw your muscles. What that's what your muscles want to be doing. So maybe this is like a little bit of like defining your optimal performance state. Yeah, maybe. And it, what this is just ten shots. Like we we right should now. do more before we try to <laughs> conclude anything. <laughs> right. But it's you know potentially interesting, and it's good that we see consistent muscle activation patterns. Mm -hmm. Which again, if you were a novice or an intermediate, there would be more more variability. More but you're not. And we see pretty consistent alpha wave activation. Yeah, hey, good. <laughs> which is good. So that's what we're doing today. Nice.